Hello, sunshine. This is Joy from Michigan in the United States. I am going to do a unicorn pour today. Um, I found this wood cutout at Hobby Lobby and it measures 17 inches by 11.89 inches. So it's a bit bigger than the little piece that I did yesterday. I'm going to do a swipe that will hopefully turn out beautifully. I kind of picked some rainbow colors. I've got a lot of colors today. Um, and then I'm going to swipe. I have this iridescent white from yesterday and I added one drop of this cell magic that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. Um, so just one drop and that's probably more than I need. And then I like to mix it in really well. Everybody's got their own take on that, but I don't want big chubby cells. I want little baby cells. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to... I was hoping to tape that off, but I don't have tape. I want to I want to keep the horn so I can paint it gold, but we'll see if I'm able to do that or not. So I'm just going to do all sorts of colors and just drizzled everywhere. This is quinacridone magenta, which I just love. I just got this color not that long ago. And then I have a primary red. No, no necessarily rhyme or reason to the way I'm putting my colors on. Probably I should have put a little more thought into it, but I'm just, I'm just feeling it today. I'm just gonna go with whatever I feel. This is Lake Blue. I have two different turquoises that I'm gonna use. This is the um, Master's Touch version which I've really liked their paints. They seem to work really well for me. And I love, ooh, and I'm almost out. It's a good thing I have two colors. All right, so the lake blue got replaced with the turquoise blue from Liquitex. But again, these colors are pretty similar. I don't know that one is better than the other, or you need one more than the other. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I think when it has the finish, because there's more of the old stuff up there, and then the turquoise blue is towards the bottom, other than on the hair there. I'm sure I'm putting way too much paint on, but, you know, I'd rather have too much than too little. This is... I want to say this is just violet, but I'm not sure I have the original bottle anymore. I think it was just called violet. It was, um, my, I usually I put the sticker on, but it fell off. This was Master's Touch. So that same brand from Hobby Lobby, but I haven't had too many issues with brands of paint, so I think you're good whichever way you go. I don't think you can go wrong. Well, I suppose you could, but... I feel like I've had pretty good luck with whatever colors I use. It's more about mastering the technique at this point for me than which color I use. So here comes question time for me. I've got this yellow. This is cadmium medium yellow, but I've also got the little bit of leftover from yesterday from the gold with the yellow. And this is when I run out of these little squeeze bottles are so nice. But if I don't have enough, I just leave it in the cup, put some saran wrap over the top and then close it with a rubber band. It's super easy and I haven't had any issues with them drying out. So I think I'm going to try the gold instead of a yellow um, and see what we get. Ooh, this is really thick. Hold on. So when you, when you leave your paints for a while, they do, they can get thicker. So I always have pre-mixed, I shouldn't say always, but I try to always have pre-mixed flow trot and water on hand so I can just add a little bit of that into the cup, mix it in. You want to make sure you mix it really thoroughly because sometimes it takes a little bit to get everything in there. And with metallics, sometimes they have a tendency to sink and you kind of lose all your beautiful metallics. So I t typically try to make them a little bit thicker than the other paints I have. I need to get some up there. And I'm a 
me go back over that. I've got one more color. This is looking so pretty. I really like this already. So hopefully it works out. And I've heard from other people that have done these that they do dry just fine. That's always a worry, you know. Wood is just different than canvas. All right, one last color. And this is, I'm gonna grab my bottle because there's no way I'm gonna remember. This is a color shift paint. And it is called, dun, 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 Aqua Flash. And it's from Folk Art. And I wish I had bought more of it. That's all I have is that little tube. But it's such a pretty color. Um, let's see if you guys can see that. Just really pretty. And as you turn it in the light, it just looks like a different color depending on which angle you're viewing it from. So I'm really, really anxious to see what this looks like in a finished painting. And I am going to tilt this a bit, so I'm not too worried about covering every single spot. Cool, guys. That's a lot of color on this. Hopefully it will turn out absolutely gorgeous. This is one I don't know that I could scrape and... <laughs> Redo. We'll find out, I guess. Let's just say I'm not going to redo this one. Let's just be positive. I'm going to I'm gonna love the way it turns out the first time and stick with it. My daughter, I bought this probably last fall, I think. And my daughter has been just dying for me to, to make it so she can put it in her room. So, oh my goodness, you guys, the drops. I don't know if you can see this one over here. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. <laughs> just the drop on the table. Okay. So this is just balancing on two cups. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a tilt. I want to make sure we get coverage on the whole piece. Although with a swipe, you don't have to worry quite so much about it because once you swipe, that's going to pull that paint up over the edges anyways. So, I feel like I tipped off a lot of paint there, guys. So, if you feel like you're losing too much paint, stop tilting and just go in with your finger and you can like borrow from the drips and just kind of tap it in. I'm not worried about the edges on this. I mean, it would be super, super cool if the, the paint just kind of flowed over all the edges, but... I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm just going to worry about the top of it. You can always go back and paint the edges. So I try not to worry too much about that. You know, I may add... How do you like that? I stopped my sentence right there in the middle. But I've got this ear here that is all gold. And since I'm gonna to try to do the horn all gold, I think I'm just gonna cover that with purple. There we go. Okay. Step one done. I feel like this leg is like leaning down, but I think we're okay on the cups. I think it's balanced. All right, I'm gonna get my flow trail out of the way because if I don't, it'll probably get spilled. Okay. Here comes kind of the scary part for me because this is make or break time. You could, if you like it this way, you could leave it just like this. It's really pretty. So you don't have to, you know, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, stop, stop, stop. Well, then when you do yours, you just stop when you're happy. All right. Just trying to decide which way I swipe, guys, because I was kind of thinking of going this way but I'm not sure how hard that would be. Because of the shape of it, it might be easier to come down. I wish you guys could answer me and tell me what you think. All right, I'm gonna try going across and we'll see. So that means I'm gonna have to, let's go down on the, I don't know, maybe we, <laughs> maybe we go different directions. All right, let's, let's just be brave. And I do have um, really small 
things to do my swipe with. So I've got that going for me. Let's see. Guys, I have no idea. Ah, we shall see. Okay, so when I swipe, my favorite thing to swipe with are little pieces of plastic. So I, I got this from Jilly Cube. She uses file dividers, but for me, the file dividers have been way too thin. Like they just, they just don't get it done. So I have, this is uh, a laminating sheet. Here's my full size one. And I just obviously put nothing inside it and just close the laminating sheet on itself. It has a little more, has a little less flexibility to it, let's put it that way. And I felt like for me, the, the file dividers that I had were way too flexible. I just couldn't get the control that I wanted. So here we go. Real light touch, which is so much easier to say than to do. Wiping off that swipe in between. Oh, I'm loving this. So pretty. I do want to get just right there. Yes. All right. Well, her legs look so cool. So hopefully the rest of this turns out that way too. All right, so I'm gonna do the hair first. And this swiping may actually help cover some of those edges as well. And then this, this is iridescent white. So I should have like a little bit of a glittery look when I'm all done. So bear with me. This is a lot of tiny swipes. So if, if this part's boring to you, feel free to skip on ahead to see what it turns out like. But I gotta take my time because I don't wanna, don't wanna mess this up. It's turning out so pretty. All those colors, oh, look at that. Yay! Do you guys see my, my second thought there? I'm second thought. I need to just drag that over just a little bit more. Now this is this is gonna be a little tricky because I gotta stop. There we go. All right, that worked okay. And I should know how to speed up the video. I may have to look into that because this part might be a little boring for you guys. But I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, I love that. I love the direction of that. I love the colors in that. Yum, yum, yum. All right, let's get her face. And I may go in, I, I don't know, we'll see how it turns out and see what it, what I feel like it needs. Um, I kind of think it would be neat to add an eye, but we'll see. Oh, it'd be so nice to be able to hear what you guys think and hear, hear what you suggest for my next step, you know, oh, Joy, stop, or keep swiping, that's good, or, but... For now, we don't have that technology, so I will just keep on keeping on. I want to say thank you to those of you that have subscribed. Oh, it makes my day. It really does. Um, this is this whole process. This whole let's start a face or it's Facebook. No, let's start a YouTube video is really for my own mental health. It has, the quarantine has been so hard on me and I just feel like I lost all motivation to do anything. So I finally decided that if I had something that I had to do, oh, I didn't wipe that off enough. Um, if I had something I had to do, you know, if, if there were people kind of depending on Maybe not depending on, but if, if I told people that this is what I was doing, then I'd have to do it. So it just is such a blessing to me 
to take this thing that I had to do for me, for my own mental health, and to see you guys commenting and subscribing. And, and you know, it just is helpful to know that, that you are helping other people in the midst of your own struggles. So thank you for that. Hopefully I'm not over swiping that. I don't want to, I don't want mud. So, oh, look at that cell. Oh, it's so pretty guys. We are almost done. We've got the tail, which I put way too much white on, but that's okay. And then her last two legs, and then I'll give it a torch and add the gold. And we'll see how this looks. What do you guys think? Leave me some comments if you haven't already and you like what you see and you like, if you like listening to someone talk while they paint. <laughs> if you don't, I might not be the channel for you because that's the way I roll. But if you're enjoying this, give me a thumbs up. Let's me know that you're interested, that you find this worthwhile. And so then I can make more knowing that that's what works for you guys. And like I said, this is entirely so that I can take care of my own mental health. So, so important right now to do that. Um, you know, it's just, it's been hard on everyone, I think, this quarantine. So do what you can. Um, even if you don't feel like you're good at it, there's just so much therapy just from trying it. Even, even my unsuccessful pores are therapy, therapeutic. All right, guys. I kind of like this. I, I think it's going to, it's going to take a while. I never like something the second it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and torch. See if we can bring up some more cells. You have to be careful. Well, a couple things. Um, you have to be careful because you can burn your paint. Oh, where'd that drop come from? Okay. Um, you can burn the paint. If you, you can catch it on fire, it's flammable. So you should always have a fire extinguisher handy just in case you have kind of a crazy day. Also, if you get the torch too close to the paint, it makes like scorch cells. I don't know what else to call them. Probably somebody out there has a name for it. I don't. But they're like these teeny tiny pinhole cells but they're not pretty well i shouldn't say that maybe maybe there are people out there that think that they are fantastic but they're not my cup of tea so if that happens what i've done in the past is i just run my um okay now i gotta concentrate sorry <laughs> i run a skewer through it just so that it kind of breaks them up and they're harder to see. You know, I may, when this is all dry, I could see me going all the way over this, the edges rather, with this beautiful gold. This is the, the gold with the cad cadmium yellow medium. Ooh, I'm gonna leave that right there. That looks good to me. Um, but yeah, I think that gold would make a pretty edge. All right. So do I leave it like this? Do I add some balloon work? I think I leave it like this, guys. Let me know what you think. I'll take you in for some close-ups and I'll add some pictures once it dries a little to the end of the video. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I would love to know that what I'm doing is helpful to other people um, as we all work through I don't know. I don't want to call it the most challenging time, but probably 
the most challenging time in our lifetime anyways. So um, I guess that's it. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Thanks for joining me and see you on the next one. All right, guys, there she is. The finished piece. I love her tail. Look how cute that turned out. Sorry about the drips underneath. They kind of make it hard to see, but I don't want to try to move her yet. Like the horn turned out really good. See if I can find some of my favorite kind of cells. There are some over here that are just cells and cells and they are just gorgeous. And I've got some of those. So if you see like in the white there, there's those little pinpricks. Some of that might've been from getting the torch a little too close. So we'll see how those develop, but ah, I don't know guys. Let me know what you think. I'm loving it. I, I really think it turned out nice. So hopefully you guys love it too. Thanks.